Hello, my name is Umberto Botto. I'm ESR number nine, hosted at Siemens. I would like to present you the main results of my Zephyr research. I'm going to talk about three topics. The first one is simple and detailed simulation models of wind turbine aerodynamics. The second, effect of blade deflections on wind turbine noise. And the third, predictions of wind turbine structural lifetime due to different wind models. Let's talk about the first topic. Engineers use simple aerodynamic models, BEMT, in computer simulations to design wind turbines. These simple models allow simulations to be very fast so that engineers can study many possible designs. Their limitation is that they are inaccurate compared with detailed models, CFD, even under ideal wind conditions. This is because of the deep vortex, which is a complex phenomenon. We performed a study to compare predictions of bent plus the Prandtl model for the effect of the deep vortex with CFD to understand the physical mechanisms responsible for the gaps of simple aerodynamic models. Our main conclusion is that the bent plus Prandtl predictions of power coefficient near the blade tip do not match the CFD ones at high wind speed. This is because BEMT assumes a shape for the tip vortex that is not the one predicted by CFD at high wind speed, while there is more agreement at low wind speed. With these results, wind turbine researchers have more knowledge to improve BEMT with positive effects on the quality of wind turbine design. The second topic is a work carried out in collaboration with ESR8 and Rebrechani. Blade aerodynamic noise is an issue for the further development of wind farms near urban areas. However, Little is known about the noise properties of large and commonly used wind turbines, whose blades deflect up to 10% of their length. We studied this aspect by developing a change of simple and fast simulation models, addressing both the wind turbine aerodynamics, structure and our acoustic properties under the effect of large blade deflections. Our main result is that, when we compare a rotor with rigid blades, left, with a rotor with flexible ones, right, the second one shows an increase of noise level parallel to the rotor plane that the first one doesn't have. This result is important not only for wind turbine designers, but also for wind farm developers, as they have now more knowledge in estimating the realistic noise impact of a large wind turbine. The third topic is a collaboration with ESR1 Bariscale and ESR13 Moanat Elagami. The industry uses simple models to generate a representative wind, called synthetic models, that vary both in space and time as input for our elastic design simulations. The problem of these models is that they are not able to account for the effects of complex mountainous terrains and the true atmospheric winds near the Earth's surface. With this preliminary study, we compare predictions of wind turbine structural lifetime obtained by our elastic simulations with various inputs. The first is a detailed wind model with atmospheric effects, the second a synthetic wind model, and the third the synthetic wind model enriched by data extracted from the detailed wind model. Our main outcome is that consistent predictions of the wind turbine structural lifetime, less than 15% difference, can be obtained by ensuring the same measure of variation between the synthetic and the detailed wind models. This result is important for wind turbine designers as it helps them to achieve more accurate estimates of the structural lifetime and for wind farm operators to reduce maintenance costs, maximizing the energy production. Thank you for your attention.